Okay, so we just got the season two preview and Larson is being removed. Well, that's what I hoped, but they're actually being nerfed. So that's one step closer to Larson actually being removed from the game. Let's hop into the rest of the patch notes and see these changes that are coming to Larson and the rest of the game. The first huge piece of information is the new agent. Now, we don't know much about them. We only know that they're going to be joining the roster in season two. This agent will bring an entirely unique weapon tight to the game and a relentless playstyle that allows opportunities for ambushes and zoning. We can wait to welcome this new agent to the roster and see plays you'll pull on them on the field, but you have to wait a bit more patient for the full reveal. So that is their statement on the new agent. And we did get a bit more information over on Twitter with their recent post, but he had a bit of a teaser and I'll, I'll let it play. Now, as you can see at the end, it did zoom in on the dart. So we feel like the new weapon for this new agent is probably going to revolve around darts and possibly poison darts with a color, but who's to say? Right, next, they are going to be doing a new catalog and new progression. So a new catalog will be added with 50 levels of progression and completion rewards. We want to keep the theme of the catalog under wraps for a bit longer, but expect some wild new styles for your favorite agents and more high value rewards. So this is similar to the diamond platinum inks that we are getting at levels 150, 200, 250, 300, those sorts of levels. So I think that's pretty good, honestly. More content is what we need. We're also doing another heat change and these are the updates. So we have Downing civilian, staff, or technician will now give a full heat level, which is huge by the way, because me, as I play Deceive, I shoot many civilians in the game. It's Pretty big nerf to me, I'm not sure about you. Downing the VIP will now give free heat levels. I'm fairly certain this was similar to how it is right now. I don't know the full levels, but this doesn't really change it too much as not that many people do shift into the VIP, so it's not too big of a change. Guards will remain the same at about half a heat level per guard. The idea with these changes is pretty simple. We want to give value back to going back to lower level cover and not encourage staying as a guard the entire match. Wrongly guessing will now carry bigger immediate consequences that will encourage players to better analyze situations. Yes, because we've got the playstyle at the moment where people will shapeshift into elite guards straight away as soon as the match starts, just because they're purple and they won't get questioned when they go into these rooms. Okay, so spawn economy rebalance. For this season, we spent some time rebalancing resources, spawning in a few key ways, with a single unified goal in mind. Slowing down the overall pace of matches, and giving some reasons to look around the vault before going to the objective. So right now, games have, a, I think it's a maximum playtime of somewhere between 24 and 30 minute games, because you've got 12 minutes until the first vault opens, and I think it's roughly 12 minutes until the game shuts down after that. So 24 minutes for a game that you could pretty much get through within 10 minutes is, it's not great. So this change should hopefully bring that 10 minute average game time up to that 24 which I think is a really good change. They're also changing most keycard spawns. So we've got purple keycards will no longer spawn outside of purple rooms, which I really, really like. It prevents people getting blue and purple keycards at the beginning of the game and just rushing every vault. The small like keycards will now spawn inside the vault, which I think is pretty cool. And the golden keycard will now spawn inside the vault. This will prevent players from having a full keycard deck before the vault is open. So I assume this means that you can no longer get golden keycards outside of the vault, which I think is a nice change. They're also reducing ammo spawns across the entire map, which I think will reward players getting kills more because you'll be able to steal their ammo, which is already really important, but it seems more important now that there's less ammo overall. They're also upping food spawn locations, which I think is really, really good because food is something that not a lot of people use, but in those tight fights, it can come in clutch. They're also upping purple chests. So these are the, the purple chests that you guys can find in vaults. They are also finally upping the max level for your accounts. So the max level is now level 400 with season two. You'll be able to unlock the Malachite ink when you reach this, which is insane. I'm currently level 150. I've leveled like 50 levels over the last two days. I'm really grinding the game in the moment, so I really hope that I can get to this level very, very soon. And to match this, they're also upping the values of XP sources all around for a smoother progression system, which is going to be so important for those newer players that want to get their characters to Mastery 10, because it can be a huge grind without that double XP that we've experienced over the past few weeks. We have some new graphical options, so they are going, they are helping those lower spec PCs, which is huge because I actually have to buy a new RAM to play this game. So it might help those people that can't afford that, which is amazing for a game to think about those ideas. They're also upping, they're also changing a lot of the visuals when it comes to agent select menu, inks menu, and additional field upgrade decks. I think that's really, really cool. 
because it, I think upping these visuals that have slightly outdated and maybe don't fit the style of the game do give players more of an idea of the actual inks and weapon loadouts that they have so they can explore more rather than just stay with the same one. Okay, they are also adding a melee shot delay, which I don't quite understand how that works. If anybody understands in the comments, please let me know. I'm sure it's a good change, judging on the rare swords. They're also nerfing Fragrant Shore. So that map, there was a few green rooms that you could skip to get into. So they've actually nerfed that. So it might be harder to get into these green rooms, but not too hard as it's only free intel anyway. They're also changing the vault terminal alarm. So back in season one, they added an alarm to the vault terminal rooms when two spies from opposite teams were inside the same room. This was made in a time when the heat was very weak and nobody but the VIP could enter these rooms. This meant that someone waiting inside could shoot anyone coming in with absolute certainty that they were not an NPC. This is no longer true with elite guards and the VIP giving free heat levels when shot. Before the vault terminal alarm removes mind game potential and occasionally and occasions to bamboozle rivals. We will monitor how this change affects the game, but we feel it it will lead to more uncertainty and more interesting encounters. So a nice, nice change that they're thinking about sort of mind game potential in the game because that is huge. And a lot of people want that in the feedback on Steam, especially. They're also adding more inks that you can buy with credits, which is amazing. A huge change is Larson is getting nerfed. That's good. Hopefully they'll look to removing him. And it also looks like they want to do overall balancing. So in a way, buff Yumi. And Yumi, I think, is an interesting one because Yumi is incredibly strong, but very, very tricky to play. So it might just be that Yumi needs time for people to learn how to play them before rising up to these levels of Larsen and Madame and these sorts of characters that are relatively easy to play. So I'm nervous about the buffs to Yumi, but we'll have to see. And that is pretty much it. Overall, I think it's a very, very good patch. There's no date on it yet, so we don't know when this is coming out. We know it's soon if this is the preview, so expect it over the next few weeks. And um, yeah, let me know your thoughts and I'll see you later.